It's another day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice and to be glad in it. I want to invite you, thank you very much for continuing to be good followers and supporters. Your comments, your suggestions have continued to make this show a great caribou ni sana tena sana in this um, April that we continue to thank God for the resurrection and even as we are in the lockdown, we know that we are not locked down because Jesus is alive and he continued to indwell in us. For ukiwa kwa nyumba, ukiwa wapi, welcome to the Saints Unfiltered Show. And even before we start, I want to read a text here from John chapter 15 from verse um hmm, from verse 11. It says, I have told you this so that my joy may be new and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I loved you. Greater has no one than this that he laid down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. That will give you a hint of what we're discussing today is about friendships. Let us pray as we start. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this wonderful day that you have given us as we start this conversation, be in our midst, in Jesus' name. Amen. I know by now we are all um, aware of how we've been doing our show. And today we are talking about friendship in marriage. Hmm. They will tell us who they are. Who will now bring this point home about friendship? Marafiki, urafiki. In marriage. In marriage. So I am your host, aka Epasi Igi Adui wa Shetani na nimeokoka sana. So karimuni, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and make sure your friends who are on Dani Yahi session. Our guest today, wonderful people of God, good and known friends of mine. I want to start with the gentle lady. <laughs> Tell us who you are, how many years you've been married, and um, what are you doing currently? And your message maybe shortly. Wakati huwa COVID kwa watu wenye wamewana. Good evening, everyone. My name is Regina Karia hyphen Moaro. Hyphen. It's important to have the hyphen, eh? <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. um, I've been married for two years and two months today. Wow. Happy. Marriage anniversary. <laughs> two anniversary. <laughs> two, two. Yes, and um, I'm a hotelier and a business person. Yeah. Well, I run a hotel, so. And and um, that's it for me. That is and, it for you. Uh, yeah, and my friend is married with me for two years. Friend married <laughs> to you for two years. 2.2. 2.2. Wow. Yes. We shall come to that friend of yours. Ascent. Amen. And most welcome, Regina. Aha. Thank you. To our gentleman now, alikuwa tayari kusema lakini ni kamuruka. Now, introduce yourself. Tell us who you are, what you do, and by the way, tell us what you do in this cathedral, Church of God. Who you remember? Eh, uh, mi naitua Cledwin Mamai, or Cled, that's the local name. Mm -hmm. uh, by profession, I'm trained in media and communication. Right now, I run a research consultancy firm called Questlink Media. We do communication and research. Uh, I've been married for one year, seven months now. 1.7. Yeah, 1.7. Happy 1.7 also. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, in the cathedral, I serve in the Levites ministry as a member. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were the chairman. Oh, and I'm the chair of the you are forgetting my brother young adults ministry <laughs> hey. yeah and a member of the cathedral council church council thank you well these are the people who are going to better help us understand issues to do with friendship in marriage and these are going to be questions that you guys have had zingine is it our surprise hmm. so when you hear about friendship i've just read a text here on how jesus was calling the disciples not servants he was calling them friends so, Regina, when you hear the word friendship, what is your understanding of friendship in general? Um, for me, friendship is someone who is closer than a brother. Closer than a brother. Yani yu mtu ni... Ni mtu mwenye ako kando yako, kiwe kibaya, kiwe kizuri. 
So you're at all times, is a friend. Is a friend yeah. But this friend, uh -huh. you you know, your brother can also be closer to you, and your brother can also decide. Uh, you know what? Uh -huh. Mini brother, just because we were born together. Otherwise, there's no relationship. Full stop. Full stop. Damu tu. Naineka boundary. Uh -huh. Damu tu. Just because you're born together doesn't necessarily mean you're friends. Uh -huh. Yes. So for you, ni is closer. Someone who is closer. Someone who is there uh, during time of need. And during time of furaha. furaha. Yes. Good and bad. Good and bad. Sijui kama Kledwin, yours is almost the same. What is your understanding of friendship? Yeah, just to add my voice to what Regina said, uh, I think a friend for me ideally would be a stranger who becomes close to you more than, like she said, more even sometimes more than a family member. Because mainly friends, you are not born with friends. You are not born with them in the same house. Uh, these are guys you find along the way as you journey through life. Alafu, uh, before you know it, some of them become close enough. Actually, some of them become your spouse, uh -huh. or some of them get you into the friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> some of them become your friends and spouses. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that is where now you want to pick. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, talk about your friendship with your spouse. Now yeah. that you have brought that point. How do you think you are a friend to your spouse, or your spouse is a friend to you, or what? what is it? Yeah, I think uh, in marriage, uh, let me start generically first. In marriage, I believe friendship is th one of the main things because friendship is what will help you weather through some storms. Yeah, and for us, what has really helped us uh, in our friendship, even before we are a husband and wife in the house, is having common interests, common goals in life, and uh, loving fun together. We, we, we love traveling together. We love uh, going out. We love... Uh, she's teaching me to dance right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, so it's a matter of uh, having the same interests, uh -huh. which can make you now have more in common rather than just sharing a bed in the house. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. All the fun things you've talked about. I don't know whether that is the same for you, Regina. It actually is. My, my spouse, we actually dated for five years. So we became friends first. Five years. <laughs> yes. president, my aunt's in January, and Paka in next five. <laughs> praise God, hallelujah, manenos. Hey. <laughs> so, so for me, we did it for five years, uh -huh. and it was so we became friends first, and then we got married while we were still friends, and we are still friends even right now. Was the friendship part of the five years pact, or it was outside? Um, it was part. Part. Yes. Oh, it, I karibu nifikiri muli fanya kama vile seven years of and inetwa gaje. Seven years of they call it a sabbatical. <laughs> After seven years. After seven years. But yours is five, including the friendship. Yes, five, including the, the friendship. Aye, I like that. And yours was friendship for? Uh, for three months. <laughs> 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 yeah, for, for us, when we began this thing, we, we began with, with the end in mind. Uh -huh. uh, because, uh, especially for the men, they'll tell you there's this thing called friend zone. Whereby you risk getting into that zone. <laughs> yeah, so, so, there was nothing like friend zone. So for us, we, when we began this journey, we, we, did, we were friends for a couple of months. Then we said, by that, we like happy. Uh -huh. yeah, and we even set a wedding date when we were still, I think, three or four months into the friendship relationship. I'm telling you. Yeah. That was very serious. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. <clears throat> so guys, it can be three months. It can be five years depending on how god is guiding you towards it but the end result is what you are seeing friendship so um regina how now we talk now about the other friends not your husbands we talk about the other friends how has your relationship with other friends been since you got married <clears throat> um for for us it hasn't changed much uh -huh. there's one thing i told my husband when when we're just when we're just about to get married mm -hmm. I told him, yeah. uh, your friends doesn't, ha you, like your relationship with your friends doesn't have to change just because you've married me. If Kama, uh, you used to like go hang out with your friends, don't limit it to just because we got married, 
eh, sasa siendi kuona kina fulani ya kina fulani oh. yeah so his friends anaendelea na friends wake na mimi naendelea na friends zangu so keeping in mind that so long as they are not coming to to destroy this beautiful thing called marriage it is okay wow Yes. What do we call that? Is it li- is it liberal or what? Is it li- liberal? Yeah, liberal. Liberal or... approach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How was your how has yours been for the last two 1.7 years? <laughs> uh, for us I think what happened actually when we began friendship and then dating, uh, I sort of brought uh, Grace my wife into my circle of friends. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, so Grace is a, is a sort of an introvert. She doesn't have that many friends. So she first of all became one of my many friends for a very short time I must start that <laughs> yeah and then after that now from those many friends now she was uh alipata promotion she now became a, sp- a special <laughs> friend yeah okay, so okay. Yeah. so even over time now it was easy for her to gel into with my other friends Yeah, so it's not a matter of now, now trying to become a friend to my other friends. Uh-huh. It's just a matter of continuity. So even when we were even doing our planning for the wedding, our friends were the same people who were helping us. So she didn't have to uh, like uh, starting getting used to people that I was calling friends before. So it was just our, our friends who were helping us together. And so that's what alianzia kindergarten, akaenda yeah. high school, mpaka yeah. sasa ako PhD yeah. friend. Yeah. <laughs> different i'm telling you that is awesome i like that but for you ilingia <laughs> ilingia you know we, we had to be very clear because also there are friends who we call and actually you're the one who taught us they are they are called little foxes little foxes yes Aha. so you need to be very careful with these little foxes do they wish you well do they wish you uh indo ivunjike so you need to be clear from the word go um uh, what kind of of if they are good people it's okay i mean tunaingiana tuna sink sisi wote your friends become my friends and my friends become your friends so long as they do, they have good intention yeah and you need to be careful you know how do you then know who you ni kama kona story na who you story in terms of friends i believe first of all as a christian there are ideals which are very paramount to you having a, someone as a friend i can tell you for a fact like myself uh, when i was get, when i was when i gave my life to christ i had to shed off some friends along the way and even as i've continued growing in my faith there are friends that you realize at some point that your ideals are not really compatible yeah i have very close friends who are very close to me even when you're in campus and all that time but over time you realize that maybe for you uh, on sunday you want to come from church spend some time in church with bonding with guys then go home and rest maybe someone else wants you to go around this ingine uko hivyo which is not really your thing so it's a matter of just uh, how your 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 thoughts and your plans and your vision align with these people that you're calling friends through that you will realize that uh, the people will start shedding themselves off actually or so it's for them they shed themselves off yeah yeah, yeah but yeah. you didn't play a role in shedding them I I uh, I I played a very passive role I must admit. Ndio for some I had to avoid them in a way. Na ability kwa kutumia vitu. Yeah but at some point now like like even my friends from high school most of them are people who, uh, right now so sorry to say but some of them are really not into the good uh, straight and narrow path. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah so over time you realize that they are your friends ndio. But uh for example two years ago when you were supposed to have a, a reunion somewhere for my friends you go for the reunion and you find that uh wewe ndio unaitisha unaitisha soda yako ama chai eh au unaitisha vitu zingine kali kali so uh, over time of course now you start avoiding such gatherings uh-huh. and though you, we meet once in a while we talk when i need to just catch up with them and everything but definitely not at, at the level of being a friend to me yeah so you carry you can be able to carry you can be able to delete friends yeah. even as you go along that yeah. journey oh. yeah. i don't even for you has it evolved also as in umewatoa wengine wengine umeongeza of course but yeah. for me what i would say i'm a person of chances oh uh-huh. so risk taker n- no not not a risk taker per se you see chances chances like i give you a second chance oh. and maybe a third one <laughs> hey. so nikikosea moja 
Oshepole Nasamea. Kosatena Oshepole. Yes. Like now there's this friend of mine who I will not say the name, but um you know the way you, I go all out when it comes to her turn. Like it's when I'm doing something for her, I do things for her. But now when it comes to me mm. doing stuff for me, she doesn't even lift her finger. Oh. So Ransi was telling me, you know what? Drop her, drop her. So I was like, ni sawa cha ni taona. The next time na jipata tu nikim saidia, ama niki fanya kitu kum kumuinu ama kufanya whatever. So, unapata tu every time na miwa, ah, wee mwa, achana, uyo si Rafiki yako, you just, well, we used to be colleagues, you guys were just colleagues, well, you see Rafiki, but we are still friends. So you give chances? <laughs> I, I think I give chances, so I think I so give chances. So in marriage you have not even, wako tu lakini? I wako tu wana mark time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, and I like the way, uh, thank you, Rage. I, I like the way uh, Claire said, uh, I think you have brought out a very interesting element, which I want to bring it out. <clears throat> Remember, if you are watching, you can make your contribution, share, tell us how your friendship has evolved. Even if you are not yet there, it is important to note that what they are experiencing now, part of their past, is forming what they are continuing with their friendship. So it is important to note which kind of friends do you have now. So do you have mutual friends with your wife or separate friends? Uh, most of our friends are mutual, actually. Oh. Uh, most of our friends are shared friends. Like I said earlier, uh, Grace is not a person of so many friends. Okay. Yeah, for me, actually, I'm also an introvert, but because of uh, maybe my involvement in ministry, I found myself having so many people around me. But now when, uh, when we came down now to us as a couple, there are many friends that we call friends together because, like I said, our interests are sort of aligned so that uh, when I'm saying I want to go and visit uh, some, so and so, Grace will be uh, 200 by 300 Tembele uh -huh. yeah, So that it's not a matter of at, at, at some point we have to separate. I go to Siokimau, she goes to Westlands. Wow. Yeah, for us, we, we are, <clears throat> most of our friends actually are mutual, mm -hmm. apart from maybe just a few friends from maybe campus. Yeah, and. Uh, Maybe some friends from church who are not necessarily within our, our, our circle as a couple. Wow. Maybe they're within my circle personally, but not within our circle. But mainly, most of our friends are, are mutual. Wow. I think yours is unique. You have created friends with your wife who was an introvert. Yako ni aje? Pia etu ni ivo. We have shared friends, oh. like um, for my case, um, I think I'm also an introvert. I don't have so many friends. Who, you? Yes, I actually do not have so many friends. Do, do you now, think that is, <laughs> like, we're not really... No, 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 no. Okay. let me tell apparent. you, the fact, the <laughs> fact that I actually am I'm a talkative person doesn't necessarily mean that I have friends. Yes, so because most of the time if I'm not going somewhere, you'll just find me in the house. I, I keep so we share friends with my husband where I, I got most of my friends through him through his friends now because they've married by virtue of being married we became friends okay. yes so it is more of shared for the two of you right? yes do you think it's, it's the similar for couples you know people are watching and like I don't know whether ours is the same do you think it's similar to many couples? Not, 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 sadly not for many couples because, uh, like I said, sometimes it's a matter of uh, having shared interests. Yeah, some couples uh, get into marriage without really having those shared interests. Yeah, maybe over the weekend, uh, I'm a person who likes sitting in the house. My wife is some, someone who likes going to Naivasha for the weekend. Mm. So at some point, you'll find that we'll have to, we'll start drifting because. Uh, yeah, I can't keep on holding her back from going to Naivasha. Yeah, because maybe she finds my my way of spending a weekend in the house is a bit boring. Uh -huh. Yeah, so at some point you find that even there is resentment between her and my friends, or between me and her friends, because we feel like we are taking each other away from. We are. I'm snatching her away from her friends or vice versa. In a story, yo. No, I'm a story. So I don't, I don't. You think, uh, Regina, that now when maybe somebody is dating, somebody could be watching, and when they are dating now, maybe he's starting to date, thinking about dating. Do you think it is important for them then to consider same 
interests, as you have said. Yes, I think it's very important. Uh, first of all, when you're becoming friends with someone, have a friend who you have the same values. You share the same values. You, you, uh, let me give an example of someone who drinks alcohol and someone who doesn't. Someone say, for example, they are saved and the other one is not saved. So when you come together, you will not um, have the same, you'll not walk the same path. Because during, say like for example, during weekends, uh, this person wants to go to hang out with his friends, kula nyamachoma, have a drink, what not. And you, you want to, to stay at home, ama no go to church, ama do whatever. Mm. So you can't, you kutakuwa na ka misunderstanding ama ka division between the party person and the God church going the church person. person. <laughs> the church person. Aha. So which will easily break a friendship. The fr that fr friendship that you're trying to build. If you are watching, please, if you are not yet dating, please try and consider people that you share the same interest. And if you are married and you are not in that, it is good then to start reconsidering shared and common interest. It will lessen struggle in marriage. And Rev, maybe if you can just come in also to just borrow on what she said. Yeah. Uh, the, the Bible talks about a man leaving his father and mother. Yep. You should also add living friends, not leaving them to watch about. But I believe it, it means that uh, your spouse becomes your number one priority. Yes. Yeah. I yes, you might not share priorities, you may not share interests with your husband or your wife, but as long as she's your number one priority, you'll be able to say, no, this weekend, my wife is at home, I want yeah. to stay with her at home. Yes. Yeah, because the moment you, you have other priorities other than your wife or your husband, kutakuwa na yoshida. Yeah, so even as you, are, as you are dating, before you even get into marriage, your friends will be able to understand that there's someone else who's coming to be at the top of the queue. Yeah. Yeah, so that other art when you know, because it's like now there'll be a competition, which will never be the case. Hey. Rev, if I can add, huh? um, so long as you've gone through premarital counseling, your priority should be your spouse Man. after God. Mm -hmm. So God and then your spouse, and then your children, if they are there, and then others, including your own mother. I'm telling Akoko. you. <laughs> <laughs> Living and cleaving. <laughs> Akoko, those who are left, those who are on others. So friends, wakokwa, your category are others. others. Yes. So you priority, regardless of whether, however you nini, you decide in your head, you want to prioritize things, your spouse should come second after and God. That's true. You know, I've heard yeah. people saying, eh. Don't try to get closer to my friends. Don't. And now that brings me to another point, my brother, my brother and sister. Opposite sex. Do you have a friend who is a opposite sex? No, she knows all my. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying that because I want to to bring that actually out. Yeah, of course, uh, as a human being, you have friends of both. You cannot separate your friends and say, I'll only have male friends unless something is uh, it's wrong with you. It's wrong with you. Yeah. yeah. My case, let me give my case. Uh, as chairman, I interact <laughs> with so many <laughs> so many people from both gender. Yeah. Yeah. So, at some uh, point, I'm going to a very close level. But the moment uh, my wife came into the equation, all these friends had to to get into into a secondary role. Uh -huh. Yeah. So even those who are uh, work at friends on or anything, <laughs> you can now tell them your friends on Mukai now because <laughs> now <laughs> yeah, because now there's someone who is going to take the priority. Because uh, innately both men and women are jealous. Only that women express their jealousy. But for men we won't get to make a geo condani but the moment <laughs> Yeah, the moment uh, Grace sees me talking to another lady in a very so animated way, so she'll way. be like, okay, what's the deal here? So I don't want her to get to that position where I'm going to get to that position this whole it's bad because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's important. What do you think? Where are you going to be with your wife? Before we, we became friends with my spouse, 
I had other friends. So I introduced him to them. Ndio isikuwe kesi. Eh. Isikuwe kesi. Ati yao iligenda ikakuja. I introduced. So right now I think my friends are more friends to him than they are wow. to me. <laughs> yeah, even the because kuna kitu anaweza fanya. You understand? So unaona for example uh, like I have a friend he's called Tash. Tash, Tash is a um, photographer, he's an artist. So um, when we go for a function, he used to take my photos, like take photos for us guys. So I introduced him because uh, when we were burying my father, he actually was the photographer of the event. So uh, I would, uh, during when we were going to edit and all that, I had to tag Rancy along <laughs> to Tash and Charles. No, kwa nyumba. Oh, kwa kwa nyumba. Because he was doing kwa laptop. Kwa nyumba. Uh, so we Na went. Na sayo date. Yes. Fish. Nilimshika mkono twende. Twende hey. <laughs> unipeleke nichukue photos picha zangu ziko mahali. Ndio usianze nyanyanyanya na bubu. Endo kusema wewe ilienda ikakuja. Eh so I think you could share and and also just to let this other person know I had friends before usikasirike by then who had feelings. No hard feelings. In, uh, so akikuona <laughs> unacheka na huyo photographer ako tu sawa. Lakini sio kucheka ile ile kucheka unajua kuna kucheka ingine kuna ile kucheka oh my god the <laughs> kuna unaona hiyo kicheko nimecheka <laughs> kuna hiyo kicheko yeah. na kuna ile kicheko ina insinuate that there is something i like that so so how do you handle them kuna mpaka wale wenye ni single by the way na unajua wameoa how do you handle them i think uh, what i learned from my elder sister and uh, her husband i stayed with them for a while when i was still in high school and uh, early stages of campus uh-huh. uh, we have something called an open phone policy because the first thing that normally brings issues in a marriage especially with friends nisimo kabisa yeah and for for us i think what has really helped us uh, our, our phones don't have passwords my phone doesn't have p9 aina whatever you weke weke hiyo kitu wewe <laughs> siko baya yani unaweka yeye anajua yeah. kwa sababu ule jamaa kwa street akishika atafungua na mpesa iende weka yeah. pin wewe no, no of course mpesa iko na pin hiyo oh, okay. ni default <laughs> yeah. but anything else has a has, has, has no secret hapo hivyo and also when i'm talking to people in the house even when someone calls me for example uh, like the my vice chair is a lady my secretary is a lady when they call me in the house I don't I rarely walk out of the house at nende kuongelea kwa balcony or anywhere else. Yeah. I'll just talk to them. They want ambia grace. Uh, this is this is June calling me. Let me talk to her from the balcony up in Jane. Sikupigie kelele. And sikupigie kelele or maybe yeah. Si unatoka ni kama umefukuzwa na umbo ya unakimbia unaenda and then when, we, when I come back of course I I, I, I volunteer from here na mwambia zingine by the June was telling me this and this. Wow. Yeah, and for some actually I, they've come even to my house so that dress can be comfortable enough to know all oh, those single friends yeah even those single hey, friends some, them, some of them have come to the house yeah for example someone is we are discussing something and then uh is realizing this thing can can go a long way i'll just tell them kuja kwa nyumba grace will also be there we we'll sit down in the dining table we we do our business grace will be sitting to man and watch tv or anything and watch tv man watch Yeah, then after that of course we'll see the friend of yeah, so that it's very clear. Why? I like that. And for you? Um same to us we have open phone policy. So openness is very important. Yes, oh. openness is very important. For us we actually share the same password because my phone you has share the same password. <laughs> yes. 1940 1940 yes. 1940 1940. Yes. Oh my yes. goodness. <laughs> 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 That is what so, I'm talking about. That is what true <laughs> friendship is all about. Uh-huh. Password yenye inafungua simu yake ndio password inafungua oh simu yake. <laughs> oh. Hapo ngikuanza sema oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, so for us atuna hiyo wacha niite ujeuri. Uh-huh. Ujeuri wa simu. Yeah. We if if the phone rings there's nothing that for sure I'm hiding or for sure he's hiding. Uh-huh. Uh, and if there is an issue he actually explains hey by the way and so and so did this to me and i need maybe to talk outside yeah. i need to like cause cause to have to raise sauti uh-huh. let me do it to you know Good. so also the peace of the house is maintained 
So being suspicious is something that will kill your friendship. And if you are friends with your spouse, it will go a long way even when it comes to communication. Openness. The Bible says Adam and Eve, they were naked but they were not ashamed. So you not feel ashamed to speak about who they are, where they are, and what they do. Did the friends that you have have a choice in the person that you married? Wale marafiki now. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, of course, when you we were young, we used to have those things. When, uh, you introduce <laughs> a girl to your friends and they were like, uh, they go for a small kamkunji somewhere to discuss her. <laughs> yeah, but now there comes a time when now you have to make that choice on your own. Yeah, and... Uh, uh, the, the person I married, I got married to, that's Grace. Uh, no one, actually, even myself, I didn't have a say here initially because we were to go in this journey together. So, yeah, even my friends, were, most of them were surprised because they had been seeing with many other people around. So they thought that maybe one of these other people is the one who's going to be my spouse. So it was you yeah. all the way. Hey, Regina, kuna mwenye liamua, eh, uyu, uyu ransi vile tunamuona na kaa, eh, by the way, Haku Vetiwa. <laughs> Nobody vetted. Nobody vetted wow. him. I, I I chose him. I prayed for him. Wow. I remember even when we were doing, when we were doing premarital counseling, I was asked, eh, so how did you know that he's the one? So I told uh, the Rev that uh, actually I had somewhere written. <laughs> I wrote, I wrote, a, I know it's crazy. I wrote a, a, a paper. I think I still have a book, that book, but I can't. It's my seven, like seven years now. Yeah. Uh, I told God I wanted someone who is slightly darker than me. Not too darker dark. Darker than you. Yes, not too dark, but kidogo tu. Si God unaelewa, eh, sawa. Tusikuwa wote, yellow, yellow. Eh, niliambia, God si unaelewa, eh, sawa. Aya, akue, I'm five, four, akue, slightly taller than me not too tall and not you know so i wrote all those down and i kept praying about it and that is how it came to be and the guy was like gosh this is the exact someone i want oh my goodness god has brought this somebody to me and and i didn't seek for any other somebody's opinion it was god's vetting this that was it wonderful so if you're watching don't depend mostly on vettings zawale makamiti kuna wengine ni kamiti ya roho chafu watakuharibia badala ya kukutengenezea as we come to the conclusion how do you behave you know the people who behave differently akiwa na bibi ama bwana but when they are with friends yani mtu anatoa picha i don't know if it's the same with you do you behave differently when you are with your friends and differently when you are with your spouse no, I think uh, if we can circle back to when we began about friendship, if you if you are if you marry your friend, you will not have to change the way you behave. Yeah, because the challenge is when you you are getting married to someone when you take time to to bond and to gel, so that when you get into that house now you become a different person. But the fact that you married your friend, it's easy for you to 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 joke to, to do other things in the house together you, we we laugh we dance we scream in the house sometimes and all those things so it's, it's really not much difference of course when with the, with the friends maybe that things you can do differently they are there the way you can interact with your friends different from your wife of course but otherwise you don't change your your ways because just because uh, i'm now in the house i need to behave in a different way because your your wife got married to you when you are like that, some one of you, then you should not now. change. Yeah, you should not change. Yeah, Aye. thank you, Claire. And for you, uh, we are the same people. Same people. <laughs> 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 you, you're the same. For me, I'm usually bubbly, uh, jovial, like high pass. And says, <laughs> You know, I'm not going So it's the same person I am in the house, unless in a situation where you're sad uh -huh. because maybe you're griefing or something that is the only time you change otherwise we laugh we enjoy and i mean just enjoy life you're with your friend and life continues don't life make life continues. difficult yeah and of course i know that those who are married please take note if if, a, if your spouse expresses concern about a friend that is a red light Please run away. Most of the time we ignore 
and their true facts. Some some friends as we are starting I think you made it clear my friends that kuna wengine hata mke wako atakwambia mama yako atakwambia eh huyo kama wewe uliambiwa huyo wacha. So sometimes it's good to to know that ni ukiambiwa wacha ni vizuri kuwacha. So thank you very much Gladwin and Regina. I think it has been a wonderful conversation. Before we finish, you know that people are struggling with your friendship in their marriage. Kuna wale wenye wamekubali watu wameingia wameharibu ndoa zao. I don't know as you look at that camera Mr. Gladwin our chair. What can you tell that person as a Christian? Remember Jesus is saying, I no longer call you servants. Kuna wengine hata wamefanya their spouses are behaving like servants in their houses. Wewe tu ni wakupika na kuosha vyumba moyo ni wakukula, you know. So how can you speak to that person who is married and struggling with issues of friends and how can they affirm using your example how can they then affirm and make friendship be the true friendship that Jesus desired and also that marriage really desires clear it I think uh, like we mentioned number one, your wife should be your number one priority in terms of friendship and in terms of the people that you have in your life apart from of course God comes first then your your spouse Now Christ himself gave us that benchmark John chapter 15 verse 15 about when you become a friend you get more privileges than when you become when you are just a, a hangers on so even in your marriage in your even in your other friendships there are things that you will do to your friend that you do not do to your to someone that you meet on the streets here so even in your marriage uh, your wife should be your number one friend but that should not mean that you now Uh, change your life change your everything because just because you want to please your wife because if you are doing all these things to please your wife it's a problem it should this should be coming naturally from you so that uh, when you're with your friends when you're with your family they talk about the same person not someone different in different settings thank you wow powerful for you regina tell that lady maybe is struggling with issues of friendship together the pengine anaangalia wale wanaume wengine anasema guy yake wale wale wasichana wengine anasema guy wale wachukua mume wangu what can you tell them to encourage them to remain firm um what i can say is pray for that friend of yours uh, make sure that uh, whatever they do they are in your prayers you know there's uh, there's something those those friends called little foxes beware of them because they can destroy things they can take you to paths that are not supposed to be to be gone and um just prioritize like glen has said prioritize your 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 order of priority your your spouse should always come top regardless of what other people say or what relationship you have with other people like your parents your 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 siblings your friends prioritize and put your spouse first yes thank you it has been wonderful conversation tonight remember friends are good but also friends can be bad if you're not yet married be careful of the element of friendship in your dating life the person that you are dating make sure he or she is your friend and you will carry the same in marriage if your principle and maybe the things of interest are not the same that is a red flag please reconsider that and then number two, you need to pray and pray and pray that god will guide each and every step you see five years three months but still they are here praising on as friends in marriage thank you very much has been sense and filtered thank you very much for being with us continue sharing continue subscribing The conversation will be getting better and we thank God because as we celebrate Christ having risen may he also rise in the issues pertaining to your friendship may he be reflected in your life as husband and wife look at your spouse as a friend look at your spouse not as an enemy but as a friend and do with your spouse what you do with your friends but of course remember you need to have those boundaries well laid thank you very much Cledwin Thank you very much Regina it has been wonderful we will call you again so that you may continue with this wonderful conversation I've been your host the Reverend Ignatius Malimo aka Pasi Igiadu Shotena hey wa shetani si wa shetena wa shetani na shindwe katika jina la Yesu maybe we love, want to pray for those maybe are struggling with issues of um, marriage and friends maybe they have become uh, toxic we pray that God will help let us pray father we thank you for the wonderful conversation we have had this night thank you for our guests today and even lord for the great lessons that you have shared and we thank you jesus because you demonstrated how true friendship 
should be. And Lord, we want to pray that the same will be replicated in our marriage life. For those who are dating, Lord, we pray that you'll guide them to good friends. And even for those who are married, God, we pray that issues to do with friendship will be affirmed in their marriage. We thank you, God, because you love us. We praise you. We worship you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please share, subscribe, and if you have any question and comment, and if you maybe are struggling with issues issue of, of marriage, kindly, the numbers on your screen is for us to call, to pray, so that we can pray with you and encourage you in your journey. God bless you. See you next week on the Saints Unfiltered Show. Hallelujah.